Welcome to the Cole and Dre podcast. I'm Cole. And this is Dre. What up, world? So we, we got back. a special guest in, in the house with us tonight, man. Yes, sir. We got, we got we, this nigga's like, um, what you call that shit? Um, a legend, a, a myth, right? Because I ain't hear this nigga name until 2015. I, I, I make a phone call to, you know, to the house. I'm trying to check what's going on in the streets. And motherfucker tell me, hey, man, this nigga Boston George out here fucking around. I say, a nigga from Boston came in and running, <laughs> running the streets like that? Say no, nigga, nigga from the north. I say yeah. Well, where you get Boston George from? Because I guess the movie. But check this out, man. Them niggas moving so tough that half his crew probably him. They gonna be down there with you shortly, man. So welcome to the show, Boston George. That's, that's, that's my introduction. Hey, my guy, <laughs> big bad motherfucking Boston. Yes, indeed, Triple B himself. Let's do What's it. What's up, bro? So, up, so you and Dre yeah. go way back. So I'm like, once again, it's kind of like like Rico coming to the show, right? I'm like Word. the outsider again tonight. It's all good though. You know what I'm saying? Bun but you come, family now, though, bro. You know what I'm saying? coming next week, so you're going to be the outsider because me and Bun got a whole lot more stories. Me and Bun got some history, too, now, though. So, you know what I'm saying? We got a little history, too. You I mean, got I mean you know forgetting, Dre, you really have been fucking around. You've been, been outside, outside man. For a long time. You got to think, like, these niggas, him, Slim, all them niggas, you know, they in the now, on the now moving, you know what I'm saying, doing their thing, <laughs> living a whole nother life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to think. I'm just a young nigga trying to move and groove, do my little thing. And i never forget shit. I'm, I'm out in the streets trying to make my little shit make it make it happen. I'm trying to make a little move one day. Little nigga come shoot the little car up. These little niggas going crazy over here. I'm just trying to get me some little shit. I don't even know what's going on. My nigga Dre pull up like, hey, man, you ain't got to do all that shit, my nigga. Cut all that bullshit out. Come on, let your boy, man. All that bullshit that's going on, you don't get yourself killed. <laughs> come forward with your boy. And I, I promise, like, it sat me back, and I started seeing a different way of how niggas move. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. just young. Wow, didn't matter. These niggas polished. They moving right. a little more player. Word, word, so, word. You know what I'm saying? Word, Drake. You know yeah, damn, saying? Drake. Hey, man. Man, you, you know, know what, man? Let me, let me, let me apologize. I should have been a scout, though, man. I see, I see, I seen that potential in my boy, man. Oh, yeah. So let me, let me apologize to you, man. Cause I, y'all, y'all know I didn't joke and said the nigga from two forty nine. <laughs> and he visited his cousin in the bricks and all this yes, shit, man. Sir. Once again, this nigga got somebody to certify. He really that kind of guy. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. How? Me and this nigga miss each other in the streets and no know clue. all the same people. I have no, I, I no have clue. no clue. No clue. I have no clue. But you know what I'm saying? We met, we we met down there in uh, Beaumont, and uh, it's been official ever since. So. Oh, Once yeah. again, you get certified by Triple B Boston George. Yeah, yeah, yes, man. sir. <laughs> my man, Dre, Dre, man. I, hey, I'm talking about this is about, young rookie of the year right here, man. Remember, man I'm a young cool. nigga. I'm having my way. I don't even know. Like when we, when I'm talking to a bitch, like I didn't even know how to really play that. This nigga come around, hey bitch, come here. Da, da, da. <laughs> hey, you gotta think, nigga. I'm, I'm I'm a young nigga. I'm 18, 19 years old. So yeah, I'm getting money. These bitches been liking me, but I'm a fly nigga. I'm I'm popping it a different way. Yeah. And this one little bitch, I ain't gonna even get this all that type of thing. <laughs> but the bitch, she bad. This bitch in all the videos and everything. I even tell my mama in the gallery one day, man. Hey, mama, I'ma get this bitch right here. Oh, I, I said, mama, I'ma get her. I wasn't even saying bitch at that time. Yeah. I ain't know how to work it yet. <laughs> I, go to, I go to the club. My nigga like, man, meet us at the motherfucking club. We pull up to the club. I tell him, man, you see that bitch? That, that bitch? Hey, bitch, come here. The, the, the bitch come here. Hey, Drab. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, shit, these niggas working. Hey. Hey, I practiced that shit about 16 times and boom, that shit just started flowing. And after that shit, it was on, nigga. Hey, my boy, man. We on and popping. Wasn't no more goddamn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, got, you set trends around this motherfucker. This, hey, nigga, this nigga sitting back watching. That's how it go. Man, hey, look, because you got to remember. Tripping. You got to remember, like, they probably six to eight years older than me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you that's know, a big that's a big, so difference, big difference in the street, especially in the street. Yeah, so you gotta think they seen all the shit that I'm just finna go through already. Yeah. So even the bitches now, mind you, these hoes my age, but they already been playing <laughs> on these niggas. And, and you know, I'm just coming through the door. Shit, these niggas, they ain't bullshit neither. They hey man, yeah, you had to Word keep up. Gray. Yeah, to keep Drake. up. Drake hey, man, coming this is a blue hat turned to the back. <laughs> hey, bitch, come here. God damn. I got that whole two. Well, well, I'm telling you this here. Uh, uh, young Rick Eddie, yeah, though, man. Oh, young yeah. Rick Eddie, yeah. Young Rick Eddie, yeah, man. Nigga, that was my boy when I, I met him. He was on this shit. Part. Can I say that? No. Nah. Well, you can say what you want to say, man. Nah, it's a Cole and Dre show. You know what I'm saying? This is a raw one. No, because you know what I'm saying? It would be different if it's you. He kind of like. Let me see. Nah, I can't say that either. 
I'm really holding my tongue tonight in a couple of ways. Y'all know I normally don't do that. But Dre, you got an image to uphold. You know, you're a yeah. mentor and shit now yeah, and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's certain things that, you know, we're going to leave. In I've, the grown, I've grown and developed, you know man. I, I will say this. I got to say this. Dre done did some good fucking idea. <laughs> oh, now, yeah. That I got to say. Oh, yeah. Dre done did some good fucking idea. Yeah. I'm a fan of good work, Dre. I'm retired. Hey, man, I'm a fan of good work. I'm retired. Dre is one of them niggas we going to say was in the way. <laughs> when we uh, if we get oh, to that okay, so if we get to that conversation now we get to that right now because yeah. I was finna go somewhere else and break down your music yeah, here we go with that but let's go shit. cause I just had in the way explained to me yeah. totally different than what I ever had it explained yeah, he and, I, and I'm still down. trying to figure out if I agree with it cause now what he just told me is I've been in the way yeah and I never thought I was in the way you gotta think a nigga go buy a chain nigga go get him a nice car right mm -hmm. and they think they have emotion they in the way they ain't fucking the same bitches we fucking. They ain't, when the rappers and the people coming to town, they ain't going to call you. None of that. You just a nigga with a chain and a new car. You know what I'm saying? When you got motion, you know what I'm saying? I fuck this bitch next day down. I find out he fucked this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Damn, this nigga done fucked my bitch. I really liked it this whole yesterday. Now I find out this, this punk ass nigga done fucked my bitch. Now I can't even tell this whole ass nigga I like the hoe. You know what I'm saying? That, that shit out the way. That nigga in the way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you gotta think a lot of these niggas. happened like, yeah. a couple times. It ain't happened that much, nigga. God damn. You done fucked some of my bitches too. Right, I'm saying, even Slim, like, like there's a plenty of times where I've had a bitch to where I'll be like, damn, I like this hoe. Next thing you know, then, hey, bitch, damn. <laughs> that, that nigga in the way, man. That nigga in the way. That nigga in the way. Oh, That's shit. what I, like, when you got niggas that don't know how to control it, they start hating. But when you're a player and you, you know, we yeah. in the way too now. Yeah. Don't, don't get the in the way too. We've we been outside for a while. We've been I, outside. We've been outside for a while. I guess I've been in the way, I ain't gonna lie. I've been yeah, I've been in the way like a motherfucker. According to my boy yeah. definition. Yeah. 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 definition. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've been in the way like a motherfucker. Slim been in the way. <laughs> Trey been in the way. <laughs> you probably been in the way. Cause you gotta think, like, like I said, man, it's a lot of these niggas out here that's having, you know, that's doing their own thing, but they in their own lane. Yeah. So. But being in the way, is, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you catching the plays that other niggas wanted to catch. You fucking the hoes other niggas trying to fuck. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You getting, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like you taking the shine right now. Cause when we went to the club, nigga, you ain't getting no motherfucking shine. Unless we want to let you. <laughs> Except for with these niggas, cause we gonna battle this shit out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He'll tell you, we in this motherfucker like, man, yes, hold on. Sir. How we finna play this shit? So before we get to this music shit, cause you said some in, a, in an interview, you know, I had to do my homework, right? Cause you know, Gotta do your homework. I was gone the whole while. This nigga was really just moving, right? Yes, sir. So I say, let me do my homework. He was so, moving while you was home. You just ain't here about the internet wasn't right, popping Right, like right, that. right. So he, he didn't calm down a little yeah. bit. Yeah, he right? a whole lot. Yeah, he so, didn't calm down. So I'm proud yeah, he of had him. to calm down from what I heard. You know, I mean, I was here, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> he, he said something that I'm like, damn, that's how I feel. That nigga said something. You was in on. I can't even remember the interview you was doing. But you say, well, the dude say, how you feel when they say you sound like Jeezy, whoop, whoop, right? And you like, shit, well, you know, it's always two or somebody, you know, everybody right. is that and the other, right? Then you say, well, shit, I felt like when Jeezy was talking that shit, he was really rapping about the shit I was doing. Right. I swear to God, every time, I, every time I hear motherfuckers, I be like, hey, this bro, nigga know me? My nigga, on my soul. <laughs> this on everything I, I, I love. You feel like this nigga know me? This nigga Drake can contest to this. When that nigga said, let them talk, let them hate, watch the Lincoln Navigator, if you touch them, wipe them off, all that shit. On my mama, bro, I'm in the Navigator with them bitches in the, yeah, yeah. on the way. Yeah. And they paying 24 for them. Yeah, let's go, nigga. <laughs> yeah, so in my mind, I'm like, damn, is this nigga with me or am I tripping? You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like I said, you know, I, don't, I honestly don't feel like I practiced that. Hey, but he was that, definitely wiping them holes off. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. Yeah, too. Yeah. I, definitely. So it's like that right there, right? When he just broke that down, I swear, I, I had seen Slim, I think we was in LA. I don't remember if it was the Source Awards or whatever the fuck it was. Some shit, but I seen, I, you know, ran into Slim down there, right? And I get on, back. Maybe I'm drinking too much. Tell I get back and, and I, I hear that, uh, right. Right. It was, I think it's incredible feeling. Uh -huh. The nigga say, I ain't playing in no leagues or home teams with Steve. I ain't get this from no settlement that I didn't receive. Please yeah. believe. Yeah. The world ain't seen too, too many me's. Yeah. I don't think the Lord created a lot of these G's. I said, damn, this nigga been watching me like a motherfucker. Man, you bring that song up every time, though. Because that, that, that verse to me just described me at that time. Like, I feel that. Like. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what so, music's supposed to do, though. That's what yeah. he's saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, to me, that's how I, I was feeling myself like she, you know, I ain't gonna lie, man. I hate to say this, honest to God, truth. Y'all know Jay, my cousin. 
But niggas was debating that I have more money than Jay at the time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So you know I was fucking around, nigga. Yeah, Talk yeah. that yeah. shit, dude. You was having some around. more. Yes, hey, man, sir. I was fucking you around. You was in the way. Huh? You was in the motherfucking like way. <laughs> but shit show, you was in the way. It was a few niggas saying, God damn, this whole you know ass shit. I was in the motherfucking way. So let's get, let's get, to, let's get into this music career, man. Yes, sir. Like, I left, when you leave, Dre, I left in 11. I left in 2012. I left in June 11. I left in 2012. A year later. June Okay, so. You didn't really get to see this meteoric rise that this nigga took in his rap shit. I, w- I w- hey, hold on, let me. I, yeah, I, I yeah, want to say I had a I had a hand yeah. in his his rise yeah. to okay. being a, even becoming a rapper. Yeah, okay. Because we just sat down and we had meetings. I'm talking about we met, man, probably about two three weeks straight damn near every day, bro. For talking sure. about this rap shit for sure. And the one thing I told him, I say, bro, you can't be one foot in, one foot out. Right. That's the one thing I told him. If you right. gonna do it, do it. But he had all the stories to tell. He had to look. He had the swag. He had everything a rapper wanted. Anything. Oh, only and thing, he was really about that shit. I just had never rapped before, though. Right. So that was the only problem. Right. Okay. So all this shit, they was right. And they told me, <laughs> that nigga, man, if I could go back and listen to these niggas from day one, like, the nigga used to tell me, man, bank on yourself, bro. Like, yeah. if you gonna do this shit, go all in. You got the niggas, you got everything. But nigga ain't never tell me that rapping wasn't easy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nigga ain't never say that going in that studio making that shit sound good and actually jamming was wasn't easy. Right. But but how many niggas you know come in the game had a Yo Gotti in their back pocket for a verse, had Boots in their back pocket verse, had oh, Slim man. in their back pocket verse, verse. Too many had a drama. I didn't mixtape. know nobody. He had he had all that. Had a Rick Ross verse. He had all that. I was like, bro, put bet on yourself. I mean, I, I'm not mad at the businessman he became, but yeah. you know, at, at that point, yeah. for me personally, knowing him and like, you know, this from what I knew about this rap business, like he could have definitely got in the game and like, you know, did his thing his motherfucking self and been on top. For sure. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I, I just believed in him that much. Like you know what I'm saying? I had them niggas who had already seen it. Then I had all my partners really just backing me whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the only problem, and then like we in the streets. So like he's yeah. saying, like when Gotti and Ross and all these people coming to this town, you know, we I, we the ones in the club doing what we doing. So we we bumping into them. We bumping into everybody. Right. So we able to make these type of moves. But like I said, you know. I ain't gonna say that rapping was my dream at that time. No, you know what I'm saying? Right. So it was a it was something I had to envision, create. <laughs> shit was a hobby. Yeah, it was, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hobby it was like a hobby. That shit it was, was a hobby. hobby. But at, but at the time though, when we was having the conversation, really talking about it, you know, I was seeing the transition to him as a businessman, like trying to you know reinvent himself as a businessman, like you know what I'm saying, being a different type of business. Okay. And I saw it for him as a way out at at way back then. For sure. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I was thinking about, like, bro. You got a way out, bro. How old, how old was you then? Man, this I'm had to be what, oh nine, oh eight. Yeah, so this is a, a while ago. Yeah, this is a while ago. I know, I met him before that. Yeah, yeah. but you know what I'm saying? I met him around about eighteen, nineteen. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Okay. So it's about twenty two. I was probably about twenty two. Yeah, you know but, but I remember yeah. this time about oh eight, oh nine. But we were still having serious conversations. Maybe ten. Yeah. We was having serious conversations about you know him becoming a rapper. Like you know what I'm saying? For yeah, sure. never spit a verse for, but. I'm like, bro. And then I had all that shit in line. You fit, you fit all the description of a rapper. Like you know what I'm saying? You had the story. You know what I'm saying? So you know, and we were cutting up now. Yeah, when I say up. cutting up, we was outside cutting up, my nigga. I'm yeah. just bullshit. I'm just so, so happy. So, okay, I'm just happy it wasn't no Instagram around back then. I think I got indicted actually yeah. in November. If it was Instagram, then we, I'd have been. Yeah, in Twitter was a new shit back then, but like for us, like yeah, we was fucking. We, we was my we generation was is the weirdest thing because they'll throw me up there with Slim and all them. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not down there with Sauce Walker and yeah. you know what I'm saying and the newer niggas because. Shout out to Sauce, man. Yeah, and that's my nigga. He'll even tell you, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, (laughs) them niggas come to my studio. You know, I done put them up on a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's like, from from actually selling records to to the the internet shit, Mm -hmm. I fell right in the middle. So my situation was, Nobody had ever done it before, not even Slim them, because you know he telling me they handled it this way, but it was it had changed already. Right, right. And you then got the new that. niggas hadn't experienced it yet to give you know, so I was just in a fucked up weird situation the mm. whole time. That is kind of strange. Not, not that I think about it, but you pulled some shit off in this rap game, <laughs> oh, yeah. nigga. You know what I'm saying? Considering all things like, you know, you really was about that lifestyle. Right. Like a lot of rappers can't say that they really come from that lifestyle and got I niggas really vouching for you from that lifestyle. I seen some shit Moneybag Yo had posted the other day. You know, and I, I'm a money band. I fuck with his music. You know what yeah. I'm saying? He was like, man, I wore fake jewelry. I had to fake it. Like, that just be letting me know, like, even with me, like, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I really come from this shit. So it's like, it be, that's why I can't hardly listen to the music no more. Because, <laughs> like, 
me, I gotta believe you, my nigga, for me to really fuck with the music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why, like, so it's like with us, we was really out here in the streets doing this shit. So when we come in the game, nigga, if we talking about these chains and cars, we really got this shit. We really right. did this shit. So that's why I feel like even Houston as a whole, and I'm gonna give that, I'm gonna give a lot of credit there to Jay and Slim now. Like you, that faking it till you make it shit. It ain't gonna work around here. Nah, These niggas gonna nah. expose your motherfucking yeah, ass around right. this bitch. Now nah, you had to, you had to be about it around this right. show. You know what I'm saying? But the, but at that time, like I said, we had come off that Jeezy sound, like you know what I'm saying, and like that 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 trap or that lifestyle. We was really on that shit, bro. Right. And the music at that time was really that. It was dope boy music. That's it. You know what I'm saying? And he was the perfect dope boy. He was a young nigga doing his thing, had his shit together. I was like, bro, why not try it? Fucking hurt. Hey, one thing so, I can so get a rap. So you you hold on hold on hold on hold on. Rap over some dope for I, me. I, I, ain't ain't mean, I, I ain't mean I ain't I don't I hate to cut you off. So you telling me you just told this nigga to, to rap because he had all of no, 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 the no. attributes of rap and this one hold on hold on hold on hold on. Go, go, hold on. Go, 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 I gotta ask this question. So I I just want to know. You said you really couldn't rap, nigga. You just I mean I you wasn't hadn't a rapper. Rapped. Like I wasn't no nigga. Like. It was a situation like this, like, <laughs> like, 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 it was so much shit going on with me at, at that time <laughs> that niggas used to real live say, man, you need to be a rapper, fool. And then I was trying to start my label. Because man. this is what happened. He, he was trying to start his label. Yeah. You had marked at the time. Yeah, right? I had, no, well, I, I started off with me. Then I went to the studio. Yeah, because okay, yeah. that's what it was. Yeah. I came to the here, he yeah. like, man, come check me out. And yeah. I heard it. I like, that ain't bad for your first time. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? But the shit he was saying, you know, you can tell it took some work to make it sound better, but right. the shit he was saying was on cue with right. what, what was, was happening, on, what the sound right. was at the time. You yeah. was just basically being you. Yeah, yeah. but it you was my saying? first time. Like, I yeah. had, I didn't know, like, you go to the, you lay the, you know, you lay your lead, you go your ad libs, <laughs> your punches. See, I thought that shit supposed to sound like Jeezy and Yo Gotti when I say it. <laughs> I, ain't, I had never even been in the studio, though. You know what I'm saying? So when I heard that shit, it just sounded so rough. That I hated it, you know what I'm saying. Right. But other people was like they liked it, but I hated it. So but I was like, hearing Fuck it was like, shit. yo, that shit ain't that bad because for they, your first rap, yeah, like that they shit knew. ain't that bad. So let's fast forward a little bit. He started telling me like what he wanted to do and what he had, and like what right. he was thinking about doing for us other rappers and shit like that. Mm. And my thing was like, bro, nigga, you sound like that on your first try. Why don't you invest that time and money into yourself? So, that was right. that's the angle I was coming from because I heard some of the early shit that he had done. And I was like, man, that shit don't sound bad, bro. You tripping. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I would it. give him my ideas, like what I was thinking about yeah, doing. Right. So he'll be like, before you do that, nigga, <clears throat> go try yourself. You know yeah, what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Nigga, don't just go banking your money and all that shit, because these niggas ain't going to appreciate your shit like you going to appreciate yeah. your shit. And I was right. <laughs> and he was right. <laughs> so let's, let's go through the progression of, I was of right. your rap career, man. And um, like, what was, when you, you, you came into this thing, right? Right. And you had, it was more of a hobby to you at the right. time, right? Right. At what point did you say, you know what? I'm getting some traction. I'm going to take this shit serious. At what point was that? I'm going to say, I kind of got a little lucky because when Molly, Molly was probably about my second or third song ever making, right? Okay. And we was more. going all in Miami. We we party. Motherfucker put me, put me to some Molly shit up in Miami. I'm. I bring this shit back to Houston. We turning the parties into a, this shit like some white folk shit around this motherfucker. <laughs> I got the DJs. Everybody fucked up. We used to, I used to pour it uh, in the Ciroc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It, it, we were going down. Put yeah. it that way. It used to go down, right? And I'm glad you said that. Yeah. Some shit that popped up. Like, yeah. 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 But look, it used to go down yeah, around this Dre motherfucker, don't let right? don't go too nah, far now. Nah. Nah. So look, <laughs> look, I go to the studio and I'm just like, my island. Miley, we gonna blame it on the mic. Cause we, you know, it, it was just some, it was a time. It, it was the time, right? And then motherfucker was like, man, that shit hard, bro. You need to put that out. Uh, J I want to say it was Jay Bone. Jay Bone kept saying, bro, that shit hard. Fuck all. And then I had a verse with Marcus and Future that I kept trying to get niggas to listen to. And they was like, bro, but play that song you just played. And it was the little Molly freestyle shit that I had. Yeah. And I was like, bro, that shit not hard. And they like, bro, that shit hard. And they went and we touched it up a little bit and we <clears> dropped it. Just for some weird reason, though. That shit kind of just took the city over. And then I got shot. When I got shot, it just kind of like magnified everything that was going on with me. You was a real rapper now. Right. And then, <laughs> but, but, but it's like I didn't take it and just drill on it like most niggas do. Right. Like most niggas would have took that shit and used it. I kind it, it worked in my favor because it happened, right. but I didn't bang on it like, you know, niggas use shit for publicity. Right. But it did shoot me out. 
because niggas was talking about this shit all around. Even Big J, like, Big J sent security to the club. We was at Knox one night. It was crazy. Hey, that's when I really started feeling like, damn, I'm really one of these niggas out here. Because the shit happened, everybody telling me not to go out. I'm like, nigga, it's over my dead body, bitch, if I stay in this motherfucker. <laughs> niggas talking about, I ain't going nowhere and ain't do this. <laughs> bitch, you crazy. And I went out that night and everybody showed up. And I, I thought it was going to be like, one of them situations where it's like, damn, this nigga got some crazy shit going on. I ain't going to that shit. But everybody was in that motherfucker. Jason, all his people up there, they made sure I get, went home. You know what I'm saying? It was just one of them things that made me feel like, damn, motherfuckers, they, they respecting this you. shit. Like, yeah, this nigga, yeah, You're fuck that me. shit. For this nigga goddamn, you know what I'm saying? We gonna make sure on our end that it ain't gonna happen on our end. So right. I, that, and it really catapulted me to that next level. And next thing you know, I was like, but shit, fuck this. I might as well try this shit. I'm getting paid now. They paying me to go here. Well, <laughs> shit, I was paying money to go to the club. Now I'm going to the club. I'm going to get me a couple thousand and some bottles. I just want to go fuck the bitches anyway. So shit, yeah. this is the time of Big my motherfucking facts. life. Big facts. Work. I'm on that bus, though. I have a shackles and, you know, on the plane and shit like that. And it's so crazy because this was right gone. when my boy, he get <laughs> fucked up. Mm-hmm. Bad motherfucker. Bad they motherfucker. did my boy right when wrong I got too. fucked up because I stopped coming out at all the 10 and 11. That's shit. I, I was still outside. I, was I, outside. I wasn't even yeah. outside no more. I was, I, rare. I I was going so hard, bro. Niggas that I knew I was going to jail. I was going so hard just on, just on the strength. Just. I wish I would have did that. I, I but I would lock myself up. But I wouldn't even try to. I didn't even know it was coming, bro. I, that shit yeah. blindsided the fuck out of me. I had got invited and I was free. No, no, no. So I'm thinking, you know, I'm I'm giving I'm 240, 250 in the attorney fee. Wish I would have got a goddamn public defender. Yeah, that shit. So when, yeah. the, when the feds get involved, all that shit don't matter. Man. They lying to y'all, I'm telling you, man. Remember that. You got that goddamn case with these feds. They got a 97, 98% conviction <laughs> rate. Them people going to win. Don't listen to that bullshit. I'm telling you. Because that time is real. They're going to talk to you about it. And them niggas is going to tell them. Just, Big that's facts. what it is. And it's just a point system. Yeah, it's point. a point system. If you got any back, yeah, no one can talk about that shit. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, nah. I just got, we, we, we got to put that, that public got service to. announcement. Hey, they got a sign in the motherfucker say, why do Tim and you can tell them, friends? Some of you niggas file like, for it. <laughs> some? No, 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 no. Let me tell y'all something. We're going to get back to the interview. Let's get this. Let's that's, get that's this. Yeah. That's a fact. Yeah, let's get this shit straight. Because niggas say they hot. They, I was in Oklahoma in transit. Niggas say hot me home on time. Dang. So explain me explain this to y'all. <laughs> about all these jail terminologies. About how this shit y'all really go, man. It's real. Like, shit real in the motherfucker. But it's real. Eight out of ten, eight out, I think it's about 83% of the federal population has cooperated. So I don't give a fuck how many of your partners you think solid. If you got more than goddamn two partners, one of them niggas then probably told. Or y'all might be the exception. Yep. But I'm telling you, you probably not. Yep. As real as it gets. That's a fact. When them Jack. niggas get in them goddamn rooms and them people telling you want to go home and you want to go to jail like they did in training today, that's real. <laughs> that's real. Them niggas want to go home. Well, let me go back and get to my bitch. That's I got real. something I can... Shit, I can hit me somebody. Them hoes don't care what you tell. They just want to know you fucking tell them. <laughs> we're moving right, on, so man. We're moving on. We're so you, so, oh, God, so you, you on your rap CEO shit, man. Like you know, what I'm saying where we at with that now. I, I know you just dropped the project. Oh, that was a little while ago. You dropped yeah, it was the last a little while project. ago. So what we working on now, man? See, so right now I said I was gonna do another Baker Soda Boston, but honestly, I want to go on straight into my Triple B shit because um, it's like I got a lot of shit that I already was, you know, what I'm saying putting it in a bag. I had a lot of shit going on, but honestly, like with that shit, it was like. I had kind of lost a little bit of, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't really feeling that shit the way I was feeling that shit, you know, because a nigga wasn't just out there the way, you know, like me personally, a lot of niggas, they be just writing. Right. When I go in the studio, I'm just talking about what the fuck going on. So that's why when niggas fuck with my music, they fucking with what I got going on. You know what I'm saying? They writing and you reflecting. Yeah, I'm just really just talking. (laughs) Honestly, like if you listen to my music, 97% of that shit gonna be just what I did today. That's why like even when me and Slim did that that tape, that's why I'm saying like majority of that shit was like something I go on, I would call this nigga, man, let's go to the studio, let's go to the studio because I just thought of something. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's like right now, just shit just been. But you, you know, that's that's called a good creative space, though. Y'all was in a good space where y'all can get in and create. 
and do what the fuck y'all want to do and come out with some jamming ass music. Like Correct. You know what I'm saying? And see, lately, I ain't gonna lie, I've been on a little sucker shit. You know, I got my girl. You grown, you know, man. You grown, been, ain't nothing wrong with that. Nah, man. That ain't no sucker nah, shit. Nah, that's man, look, look, look. Man, but shit. I ain't making love music. You know what I'm saying? I'm a trap nigga. I'm a street nigga. So it's like, <laughs> lately, you know what I'm saying? Nigga just been kind of, you know what I'm saying? Trying to really get that shit out. Because she got a business and shit. She doing her credit repair shit and just booming. You know That's what I'm saying? Up, Shout out Shout out, girl. man. What she got going credit on? Credit by girl? Jazz. Shout out okay. my girl. You know Work what I'm saying? Jazz. Yeah. She been doing her thing. So really, honestly, I've been wanting to get her shit all the way straight. Get on out of my way so I can be, you know what I'm saying, full-fledged, focus on my shit. But like I said, man, I got a whole bunch of shit. I just... Really just waiting to just really get that vibe to get back out here and go. Yeah, go that crazy. last project was a little personal, man. That bitch had some 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 shit on that yeah. motherfucker. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you actually took your time and yeah. sat down and, and, and that's what I, that's what I wanna do now. Like, even Gazi, man, shy Gazi too over there, Empire. That's my nigga. Like he hit me all the time. Like, George, what the fuck are you gonna do? You gonna sit around and let all these cartoon ass rappers make it and you gonna sit around here and not do shit? And I just be telling them like, bro, them niggas just sit around writing and shit all day. Right. I gotta be in that type I of vibe. I just saw guys into the BT. So, so, man. so hold on. I got to I, 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 I gotta give you this though, homie. Like, at the end of the day, you gotta ask yourself: Am I gonna be? Am I gonna be a part of the entertainment business, or am I gonna be a part of the streets? If you need the streets to be a part of the entertainment business, you can't last too long right. in the entertainment business. Right. So you didn't already made your mark in the streets because I'm telling you, I was hearing about you. Right. I ain't know who the fuck this nigga was, but I'm like, shit. After you hear a nigga name two or three times, you like, well, I don't know who this nigga is, but a little nigga fucking around. Right. But you can't, you can't say, okay, I gotta go do some more dumb shit to come up with some material. And see, that's what I can't put myself in harm's way. So I, I built, I built a studio at my house. Okay. Simply because I wanted to lay, like, I want to relay this project more of my life story more than just me doing dumb shit. So, but that take a different type of thought process because now I ain't just going in there we shot a nigga today or whatever and just rap about that shit or oh, we hustle today and we go rap about that shit or whatever and we ain't doing that no do more that. I'm no. saying we ain't doing <laughs> that no more never so shoot a nigga then go rap about it no I'm just saying like I'm, we ain't gonna rap about it in that sense but I'm just saying like you know you, right I got that's it. where the, but, the, the but energy gonna come from this, this nigga too real no 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 not <laughs> like that and not like that I'm saying that's where the energy comes from right I get you but what I'm saying though what I'm trying to get through to you on, on on some real shit though, I understand that that's been your motivation. Yeah. But now you can still you got enough situations right. where you can reflect and show your growth. Because one of the things that fizzle a lot of dudes out is they're not able to show their growth. I think if you take a look at Jay Z, yeah. the biggest thing with him is <clears throat> if you listen, niggas want my old shit, buy my old album. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because he's consistently evolving. Right. And you got to be consistently evolving. If you talking about your daughter and your girl right now. But nigga, you still that nigga. That, you ain't became no hoe or no soft ass nah. nigga because you growing. Nigga, I just ain't doing that dumb shit no more. I didn't realize I got too many partners in the penitentiary, too, nigga, too many partners that's then died. You know what I'm saying? That's then gave their life up on some shit that I made it through. Nigga, right. you made it. shit show. Man, fuck shit this show. shit. You ain't got to go do it. You ain't got nothing to prove to these And like, like I say, to me, music is something that I've always took as real life situations. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like even starting to, you know, turn that shit and talk about this new shit is all new for me. Cause it, you know what I think? When a nigga used to talking that trap shit, that's easy. Everybody love that shit. They know that shit, boom, boom, we, we give them that. But now doing this new shit to me, it just make it a little different. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I be wanting to make sure it's the right shit. And that's probably me overthinking shit and that's what's slowing nigga down. But when I do drop it, I feel like it's gonna be, you know what I'm saying? the way that I polished it up to get to him. So, let's say you dropping your trap shit, your girl credit repair shit, you learning about credit, you understanding how business works, you understanding all your mistakes, and you giving a nigga, because at the end of the day, music ain't doing nothing but giving a nigga game. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you sharing this so. newfound information with a motherfucker, through rhymes and riddles around this motherfucker. What's the difference? Right. Nah, it ain't. It ain't no difference. But like I said, <laughs> I mean, it's that shit. falling in love with music and fall. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, sometimes a nigga in that space and sometimes a nigga really not. Cause like he know, like I, I've always like music is just one part of me. Like I be having other shit. It's a, so much other shit that a nigga be doing that, you know, that's just one thing that a nigga be doing. So it's like. You know, when a nigga in that zone, nigga get in that zone. But the problem is a nigga need to stay in that zone because that's what he need getting rich at. Yeah. <laughs> right now, see, it used to yeah. be like, especially like in my era, right? Yeah. My era a little different from y'all there. So in my era, it was all the motherfucking 
the rappers was talking, they was telling stories about the street niggas. Right. Now the street niggas really can't compete with the rappers because these niggas is getting some motherfucking money. The Man. homie just told me they gave little baby a buck thirty for after party. I'm like, God damn, what do you do with the after party? That's what Show I said. Hey. God damn, a buck thirty? I just was like, telling him before I hope this. that nigga didn't mind me saying that. I'm sorry, man. God damn, I might be talking too much. Nah, because that's the But the nigga didn't make his money back on the buck 30, so fuck it. I didn't already said it. But I don't even think it'd be about uh, niggas unless making their money back no <laughs> Right. Right, and said no. buck 30. Nah. No. 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 Our partner told me the nigga really paid a buck oh, 30. Okay, okay, okay. So, damn. Nah, but so, them niggas damn. actually getting paid like that. He tried to not get him to do it. Those niggas actually getting paid like that. And that's that's really my newfound motivation. Because like I said, it was a point in time where the rappers weren't making the type of money I was making. Yeah. Now the make, rappers making more money than a nigga making because they they getting 130s and 150s for after parties, like you said. The, that, so I think the nigga got 250 for the show. Is that what I'm saying? And then my, favorite rapper, my favorite rapper would get a 50. Huh? My favorite rapper was getting 50. And we was making that shit ourselves. So it was different. Falling in love with music was different for us, you know what I'm saying? But shit, them niggas making them. It's definitely become more of a business now. Like it's always yeah. been a business, but yeah. nah, now, but now it's, it's, niggas it's, really, yeah, shit is different yeah. now. Well, I think also, you know, he a rare breed, right? When I say he a rare breed, because a lot of these rappers wanted to be famous. This nigga understood early on. I want to be. I want to make some guys. I want to make the money, man. And once you done touch that motherfucking bread, man, I don't give a damn how famous you niggas is. You ain't got what I got. But niggas uh, still miss that point, though, because some niggas don't care about that bread. Like, they care about it, but that ain't their main concern. They want to be famous. I want that I, bread. I tried to get out the way of the famous part two or three times and put the bread behind niggas. You know what I'm saying? Yep. But in the midst of me doing that, like he said a long time ago, niggas ain't gonna appreciate the shit. <laughs> so that throw me back in the fire. But at the end of the day, man, all this shit lessons and shit. So but, so when can we expect another Boston George project? Man, I really got one down there done right now. I'm so really when, just, so when can we expect let, the Boston George project? I'm gonna say in about the next I'm gonna say two months, a month at for shit. Hey man, show. we got a lot of people watching this shit. Hey, man. You know I know you got a lot of people watching this. You gotta have a day. Nah, we we over your time. Give me a month. Give me a season, god damn. When we doing it? Cause it's almost done. That ain't that ain't nothing. Now this motherfucker almost done. It's just <laughs> I just trying to you know get that energy the way I can get these folks. Uh, you know, cause like I said, niggas don't understand. Dropping the tape is just dropping the tape, but the marketing part is way harder than that. Sure you know is. what I'm saying? Absolutely. You got to get out here and really get in these folks' face. And I be trying to get the energy to get in these folks' face. You know what right. I'm saying? Cause after you done been out here since you was 18, man. You know what I'm saying? In these folks' face. You know, it'd be hard to gather the energy to do this shit. Amen. So I'm going to say, on here, by the end, I'm going to say the end or the middle of October. That okay, we got a Halloween man. project coming. Here by we the, go. By, by okay. We got a Halloween show. project coming. Y'all heard it here first, man. Who on the project? Up. Man, I got to... I ain't gonna even disclose that yet because, like I said... <laughs> Him? That, no, 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 no. Because, look... You know, some of that shit be having to get cleared. So right, at the right. same time, I would hate to say some shit now that I could have got clear either right. on GP or for cheap, and then motherfucker be done got down that's, some that's bullshit the new be done man. came out. See, this is the business man. See, this and nigga this at, at 18, 22. Yeah, man, such and such. This yeah. nigga, I got a verse from him. Yeah. I got a... Nah, now you understand. You learn early. You'll learn early when 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 the check come back and you thought you were finna make this, and they talking about this part went to this person, and this part went to... Nah, mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> even with beats I learned that even with beats Like When you tell these motherfuckers A certain person is on a song That beat done went from 500 or 1,000 To 5,000 10,000 You know what I'm saying So Slim no Actually Hey these <laughs> niggas know Hey man I had niggas When I did that tape with Jeezy Yeah Niggas that would give me the beat for five hundred was charging five thousand per beat, and I, I, we were rapping on these motherfuckers like they were free, cause I was gonna pay the five hundred like nothing. <laughs> Next thing you know, I owe twenty five thousand. Like, god damn, who the fuck I'm paying? Same nigga that was on my last tape. <laughs> That's Man, how that shit. Nigga, you finna eat off this motherfucker? Hey, how eat how, too? how did the the, the 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 Jeezy collab happen? How did that happen? Cause I was gone for that. So how Man. did that happen? This shit the craziest shit. When I read that in the hip hop Look, weekly, I was like, damn, hold up. I'm in Atlanta. I go to Atlanta because I'm smoking hot in Houston. <laughs> I told my I got so much shit going on out here that either I'ma stay here and either I'm either gonna go to jail or some shit finna get beyond crazy, right? Right. So I say, you know what? 
I'm going to cool off. I got a little money. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go out here, cool off, figure out what I'm going to do next, and then I figure it out from there. I get out there. I'm out there. We, You know, I went out there to just fuck with the music, but I didn't really know exactly what I was going to do. So I get out there. We fucking around. Boo was my partner. He was already tied in with Jesus. But, you know, so we would go out and fuck with the nigga all the time, but we wasn't talking about no music or none of that shit. So, of course... I get out there, the street shit, you know, it get popping, everything going on. We start going so crazy just on my old music because my partners out there was like, nigga, we're going to go out every night, nigga. We might well be pushing this music. And I'm like, yeah, you sure right. So we get start going out there playing old shit every fucking night. But then slowly but surely, we started having this shit gang shit. And it's just more and more niggas just collecting, you know, coming around and the shit just started getting bigger and bigger and crazy and crazy. Next thing you know, we making money. Everybody out there screaming our name. And now it's in Atlanta like it was in Houston. Now every night, having this shit gang in the building, boss of Georgia, this shit just ridiculous. And so one night, Gazi called me and was like, man, I want to start my label up here. Da, da, da. We already got the distribution, but I want to turn it into a label. He was like, you and Rocco, I want to fuck with y'all and put y'all shit in the jails and this, this, and that. I'm like, yeah, shit, let's do it. The next day, Boo called me and was like, man, Jesus wanna holler at you. So I'm like, all right, cool. I go pull up on him. He like, hey, bro, you know, I see you fucking with your music, shit, da da da. And we was in the streets, nigga, I come fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? On that shit, but shit, I'm the plug in the music, nigga. If you gonna fuck with the music, don't don't go fuck with nobody else. Fuck with me. Shit, you gotta think in my mind, I'm saying, shit, this is my favorite rapper. This you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I'm a I'm a fan. I'm not a groupie, so right, of course right. I, I'm, I'm I fuck with your shit, but I'm not going. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a groupie. Nigga, like shit, nigga. Ninety days, I'm gonna have a million dollars to your account. I'm like shit. You know, I got some money now, but a million clean versus <laughs> this million dirty. It's two different things. Big I, facts. I really thought about it, and I was like, because guys had hit me the day before, so I know something going on, but I'm just not really understanding what's going on. So I'm thinking, man, fuck that. I'm gonna go with the nigga who understand where I come from before yeah. I go, you know what I'm saying, over here. Not, you know, guys are my guy, but I'm thinking, you know, I'm gonna go with this nigga who know, nigga, I'm, it's pressure out here. Yeah. Right. We try to get up out this motherfucker, right. you know what I'm saying? So I was like, nigga, say no more, let's do it. And that's how that shit happened. That's what's up, that's dope. So what kind of deal you dealing with? Cause I was like, as I said, I had to do some homework. Right. You know right. what I mean? Because. So as I'm doing my own work, I guess you did a three-year deal with him? We did a three-year yeah. deal. We were supposed to do, I think it was like two or three projects, but we had one project and we had a situation where he was supposed to up me, upstream me to a major situation. Okay. So he had a year to do that and some options. Okay. So when that year was up, we had the option where either I could have stayed there and did that or the money that I made, you know what I'm saying, on the backside of that tape. I could have just used that to pay to get up out of it. Mm -hmm. So I just said, you know, just in the, cause he was doing, he was trying to get, you know, he was with his girl and they was doing that. He wasn't necessarily outside. Like I was, you know what I'm saying? Like right. we was used to him being outside. And then at this time I'm thinking shit, you know, the type of money I'm making on the backside of just my distribution, I'm making enough money, you know what I'm saying? Where if I just keep pressing on this shit, I'm making 30, 40,000, 20, 30,000, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I'm not really just trip, you know, tripping. Right. And I didn't see the vision over there at that time no more because he was kind of doing his own thing. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, shit, I'm going to just take this money, pay for the shit that he paid for, you know what I'm saying? And then go back and doing it, do it, go back to do it my way. That way I can keep all my shit on the backside. Because if not, I would have had to forfeit all the shit that I had done on my own, give it to him, and then basically bank, bank my career on me and him blowing, you know, him taking my career upstream. Okay. And it could have right worked. Now. It could have worked, but. It, 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 like this is in the bank already So it's right. like Shit do I Take that and And put it up And just hope that it go right But I didn't see the traction So I was like Man you know what Fuck it I'ma just try this shit my way Because it's my boy Right So at the end of the day It's just like Dre We don't gotta do business together For him to be my boy That's my boy If he see a way To bring me on his podcast And it might Fucking change the nigga's situation I think he gonna do it So I feel like Even with Jesus Like if he see a situation where he can, you know what I'm saying, help a nigga out, I, I think I can call him and say, hey, bro, cause we ain't on no, we ain't on no fuck shit. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, we right, still right. good, so. Yeah, shout right. out to Jeezy, man. Shout out to Jeezy, yeah. man. I watched yeah. the, um, I don't know what it was, you know. I, I'm, I'm YouTubing one night and, and this nigga Jeezy lived in Japan for a while. Did y'all know that? 
Nah, I believe him. He a weird <laughs> ass nigga, so I give it to you. That's my so, dog, but he but, weird in the motherfucker. Let me tell you what I got out of that shit. He's right? grown now, man. Yeah, he grown, but nah, he, that's he, why he got that. You know, he was fucking them. He, he was fucking Japanese hoes back right. then. He liked that Japanese right. pussy. But he nah, that to pussy. be able to maintain. Hey, that ain't no disrespect to you no. and your wife. Now you know what I'm saying. No. I don't mean it like that, homie. But to be out in these streets and really be a different nigga that make like. It's a bunch of street niggas. There ain't a bunch of successful street niggas. Right. Yeah, I promise true. you that. That's true. But to be a street nigga and successful, you got to be weird in some type of way anyway. Well, well, where I was going with that, because what I've seen, and this is what I told my wife, you know, we watching this shit, and I said, if you really look, and I told her, I said, you, you know why Jay is so respected? I say because he's one of the very few niggas who really got it out the motherfucking mud Look, all the way, sure. right? So, like, even when we was looking at that, I said, Exposure and experiences change your life. Right. Jeezy got exposed to a whole nother world by being in Japan for that time he was there. So that gave him a whole new mindset of, damn, music is worldwide. If anybody that's traveled throughout the country, throughout the world rather, when you get overseas, you realize, nigga, they playing a lot of our shit in the club. These people jamming our shit in the club. I was in fucking hype for Israel. Nigga, they playing our music, they dancing. I'm sitting back like, what the fuck? I'm expecting to hear right. that shit. You know what I'm saying? I saw it. I'm like, so <clears throat> what happens is when your mind gets open and expand like that, you know what I'm saying? You start to look at shit totally different. Man, this shit bigger than these little streets that I'm For in. Sure. So Jeezy was able to see that. I knew it right then. I couldn't figure out what it was about Jeezy. When I saw that, that's when I told baby. I was like, shit, most niggas done been exposed to something that showed them some different shit. Yep. And if you don't have that, it if you don't get that, and it right. don't trigger, you you get pigeonholed. Right. And when you get when that shit trigger, like like Jay Z and Kanye niggas in Paris and different shit. When you start moving and traveling, and you start seeing this shit, we was in fun. I was in a, we did a, a it was a ghetto boy concert. I think I I forgot why the fuck I even went to this shit, because I wasn't going on the road with some niggas like that. But no, he's in fucking Iowa. I never forget. And it was damn near full of white kids, and the motherfuckers knew all the words. Yeah. That oh, shit yeah. changed my whole thought process. Like, you got to though. Man, I just went to Jamaica. <clears throat> nigga picked me up, jamming my shit. I'm staying. I'm in the back seat, telling my girl, "God damn, how the fuck this nigga knew?" You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we, that's that's why you went on the show two weeks ago. We supposed to had you right some weeks ago. So <laughs> your ass chilling in hey, Jamaica. Me okay. and my girl, I'm texting her in the back seat of the car, like, "Man, how the fuck this nigga know me?" Cause we in the Range Rover, tinted up. I'm thinking, shit, I don't know what the fuck going on with this shit. Yeah, this shit weird. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I didn't know how the nigga knew me. Right. But what happened when I reached out to him to get the, the info, because it's like a Montego Bay getaway site. You think, yeah. I'm thinking some white folks run this shit. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But when I did it, you know what I'm saying? The nigga went to my page and saw who I was. I guess I don't know if he already. But when I, the nigga picked me up a street, nigga Zach, when they get some money. So, me and my girl in the back of this motherfucker like, man, I don't know they what the take fuck going on. Yeah. 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 Be careful, yeah. these motherfuckers might be taking but, us somewhere. I say that to say, like you say, man, that music, that music do something different to these folks. And it also... It travels. Yeah, it travels. It travels, man. It travels. Music is, is music, and I've heard y'all heard it before, but and I agree with it. Hip hop has done more for racial racial barriers than for the sure. civil yeah, rights movement. For sure. Because, you know, music is universal. Everybody can get on music. You know what it, it, brought, it, brought, music. it brought people to the neighborhood. Man, when I see these white folks on these damn Instagrams and TikTok repping that little baby word for word yeah, shit like that. that's crazy. Like, you got to remember, man, like, when you when you getting a certain level of money, now you blending in with different type of people, right? Mm -hmm. And even though they let you blend, don't mean they think you, you, you belong there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But then what fuck them up the most is when they kids rapping that shit or all up on you and shit, or or, or you blowing their daughter back out. I think that's why they hate it though. Yeah. Well, I tell you, this is some funny shit right here because white folks will rap our shit like a motherfucker, right? And I listen to a lot of goddamn country, so you know, you know, you know, my wife the king of parties, right? Right. So we have, uh, she always want to do some karaoke shit, and you know, I I karaoke some country shit. And then I tell motherfuckers, now nah, this ain't for you. I have never had a fucking karaoke where them motherfuckers didn't know these country songs. Yeah, country you motherfuckers, down. this country is our goddamn. Country I down. swear, little broad Nikki J, she over there from my guard. It's Corey, baby mama, the one that got killed, right? Yeah. So I say, shit, let me find you some. And I'm going through shit, and I couldn't get off country. She's like, I know this, I know this. I'm like, no, because I, I was going to give her a song. 
Neon She's Moon like, was my favorite country song. Let me do that. Which one? Brooks and Dunn, Neon Moon. Okay. Nigga, that's, that's everybody's favorite country, country song. Damn, motherfucker. motherfucker. Country I'm country not song. trying to be different. I fuck with that. I, ain't okay. know, I don't think I know one country song. You might do just it's I know really, everybody here, I'm proud. Shit. You better fuck with them goddamn country artists. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie. I remember my first time going to Miami with these niggas. They in there listening to the drum, 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 drum. I'm in this motherfucker like, man, nigga, these my niggas, my hood what street happened niggas. To these niggas? What what the fuck's happen? wrong with these niggas? I couldn't wait to get back home and tell my partners like, man, what the <laughs> fuck these niggas? To what they nah, you know in Miami they that you know the Vegas, the Vegas music and oh, shit. Oh, that house, that house, yeah, house shit. But you gotta remember that was my first time. These niggas been there, so they in there having fun, <laughs> popping bottles. I'm in this motherfucker like, man, where the fuck are we? You know what I'm saying? This was back, back, back then. Now that's but, big in Europe too. That house yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah, so them niggas would have fit right in over yeah, there. That, yeah, that's so they know country music, probably all that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Music, music, I just like good music, man. I told shit, you I've been outside for. If a while, the shit man. is good music, it's good it's music. Music is man. music. So let's get to um. Well, you know what? We ain't gonna get there just yet. We ain't gonna get there. Well, to go. So as I'm watching this interview, you uh one of your interviews earlier, you said that um you uh you walked into the studio with uh, I think was it Jeezy and Ti? Yes, sir. And Trey was in, and you say right. you know Trey. Kind of like, yeah, I know the nigga. You've seen the nigga. No, 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 no. That shit went <laughs> way further than that back. What you gotta remember. What nah, you with gotta this remember, situation? like, you gotta remember, like, the nigga just this happened. All right, look, look. You gotta remember, <laughs> like, at this happened. time, though, you gotta remember, like, I already done had Killer signed to me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I done already had Marcus signed to me. You already heard about me in there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, your name was So, name. So, like, when, when Trey them was riding around here, with the challenger, with the hundred spokes, with the one pipe on it and shit. I had the challenger with the two pipes, with the four Giatos on that motherfucker. <laughs> nah, but listen, listen, you know like how 50 of them, they let niggas borrow their Ferraris and Lamborghinis and shit, like, we wasn't like that, but you know, them challenges, Camaro, my partner's driving my shit around this motherfucker, you know, I might not see it for a couple weeks. Niggas know what the fuck I got going on around this motherfucker. So it ain't like it's no, it was no question. Now, if it would have been like I was just one of them niggas out here, nah, nigga, like, I was in the way for show. Like, not even no plan. Like, you can't go out to the club during them times and not see us. It wasn't, it ain't even possible. Cause we, gonna, we, we got the whole parking lot. Like, I'm telling you, like, them probably was the only niggas that could really, like, stand up and be like, yeah, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, wasn't nobody. And I'm talking about 10 years. I ain't talking about no two years, three years. I'm talking about 10 straight fucking years of this shit. So, now once again, Jeezy is my favorite rapper. You know what I'm right. saying? These niggas my favorite rapper. So when I go down to Atlanta and Boo, you know what I'm saying, introduce me to Jeezy, you know, like Boo, again. Man. Yeah, Boo my nigga, real nigga. You know what I'm saying? I, boom, he tell me, hey, man, Jeezy walk up to me in the club like, hey, who, who song was that? The plug record. I'm like, that's mine. He's like, that's your song? I'm like, yeah. Next thing you know, Boo walk up to me, he say, hey man, get the uh, instrumental to that song and send it to me. I send it to him, boom. We go to the after party, Jeezy pull up. Boo like, hey, dog, want to holler at you. I go out there, boom. Now, my, you nigga, we straight niggas, man. We jamming this nigga the whole way. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Nigga pull up in the ghost, pop the back door. Man, hey, let me holler at you. Boom, I walk over there, his verse, he going in. I'm like, oh, you know, you got to think, nigga. Nigga, I'm on cloud one million. You know what I'm saying? Like, we having money. Fuck nine. We, we, we having money. We got the bitches. Now we got Jesus on the record, bitch. This, we finna be up there. We were one of them guys now. You know what I'm saying? That's how I'm feeling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because to these my niggas. Like, I'm with these niggas. We jamming this nigga. You know what I'm saying? We used to niggas, but we fuck with this nigga. I know right. we fuck with right. this nigga. So we go to the studio. And uh, he was like, yeah, I'm gonna get a couple of niggas come through and you know check it out. So Tip come through, I think Luda came through, a couple few few folks came through, but Trey come through with with Tip. So when he come through that motherfucker, you know, I'm thinking this is one of the H town niggas that know I'm in the motherfucking way. Yeah. Ain't no question them I'm in the way. And he telling nigga, he like, he like, hey, yeah, yeah, you know, bro, he from the city. And it wasn't how the nigga did it. It, it. I mean, it wasn't what he did. It was how he did it. Nigga looked like, oh, yeah, I seen him around and just walked out. Damn. And the way he did the shit was like, <laughs> like, nah, 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 nah. I'm serious. Look, the way the nigga did the shit was almost like, like, you remember I told you when we started this shit, you can go buy a chain and think you're doing something. You can right. go buy a nice car and think you're doing something. It's a difference between being in the way. Right. You know what I'm saying? 
he made me feel like I was just that nigga who went and bought the chain and bought the car. Nigga, I'm in a Lamborghini, nigga. In the, I got a Lamborghini in Atlanta. You don't even own one of them. So you, you ain't no other motherfucking way. So you fucking you around at the time. Yeah. And it, but it, around, but okay. it's obvious, bro. It's not no shit that I'm saying, like, in a negative way. Like, this right, is no, for no. real. When he go in the strip club, these niggas, we here. We the ones throwing the money. So I, I don't expect no nigga be jumping around. <laughs> hey, yeah, that's boss and joy. But I expect a nigga to say, Hey man, yeah, yeah, I see, bro. Cause we gotta uplift each other. We from the city, right? So instead of when niggas come to the town, we beat each other down. These rap niggas ain't most of these rap niggas ain't gangsters. So when they see that shit, yeah, they want to take pictures and post it on their social media. But shit, when they leave, shit, we getting the fuck away from them crazy ass niggas. <laughs> they ain't trying to spend no money. They don't really care to anybody coming back. But when they do come back, hey, what's up? And they gonna keep it moving. The money don't like that type of shit. Money don't like the problems, and we all know that. Right. So what I'm saying is, is like I don't want no problems. Go right. Ahead. So in my mind, it's like <laughs> when the nigga said that, and when he did that, it was like, damn, my nigga, this the time to uplift the nigga from the town. You know what I'm saying? Right. And and instead of you doing that, you really chump the nigga off. Now let's go back to the. I'm not a groupie. I'm a fan. Right. Nigga, I grew up on Slim, Zero, Trey. I'm listening to these niggas as kids. Right. I don't have. I, this, this big homie Trey in the building, he finna rap for me. Cause shit, I'm just a young, little nigga that he watching do what I'm doing. But he ain't do that. <laughs> and then, mind you this, this nigga's calling me like, man, I'm, I meet Ross. Ross like, yeah, I'm, shit, you ever met Trey, I'm gonna introduce you. Like, Fuck you, man, introducing me to Trey for? I know Trey, he know me. <laughs> I'm not saying it like that, I'm just being honest. Like, I, nah, I'm just being honest. This man I, nah, I'm serious. Look, <laughs> look, 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 nah, 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 nah. Listen, listen, listen. So you gotta think, it's so many different niggas that then came to me and be like, "Hey, Dolph, all these folks, yeah, hey, yeah, you know, I'm a holler at Trey." Like you could tell, like they thinking Trey is the guy who can emphasize or or put a stamp on what's from the streets out here or not. But shit, I ain't never seen Trey in the street doing no street <laughs> shit, and I'm not saying that on no fucked up shit. I told him to that to his face, right? Like I'm not a hater of Trey. I was a I was a fan. I'm not a groupie. Right. So at the end of the day, it's just like if a nigga would have came up to me in 2000, whenever I did that song and asked me about Trey, I'd have said, "Yeah, that's the big homie from the city. Yeah, that nigga been putting on for a minute. Yeah, that's it." So a nigga would have said he'd have known right there that oh yeah, but the way he did me, like I ain't having no motion. And I had way more motion than him. That's <laughs> <laughs> on my mom. Hey man, hold on. When was this shit? I don't even remember, but it was right when the plug shit came. That out. nigga feeling some type of yeah, way about that yeah, shit right now. Man. I'm not a hater, bro. Right. And I, I, I explained that to him. And Dre know me, been knowing me a long time. Like I'm not a hater, bro. So there's no way that if it's an uplifting situation, I'm not gonna bring you down unless you. Did right. something to me to make me bring you down. Right. Then if you do something to me to make me bring you down, I don't have no. He ain't gonna do nothing to me. Okay. Right. Right. So, so that's how it is. Anyway, as a part of my homework for this interview, <laughs> I saw that shit there, right? So kind of puts us into the gateway of um, you know, because I think Trey has done a lot of good things for Yeah, he's you know a mean? good like humanitarian. A lot of yeah, he's he's really become a humanitarian. Right. And you know, as of today is the the twenty ninth. I think that happened two days ago. He had a situation with uh with Roe. Mm. So, you know, obviously it was you know shit. I seen it on YouTube. I thought I saw it. On, I thought it was. We, we the media. We can talk it, about it. It was on it was on YouTube. So yeah. that's the situation. I mean, this shit in the media. It ain't, it right. It's outside. it's in there. So just out of curiosity, like, what do y'all think about that though? Like the situation. I mean, because I didn't see Trey. Hitting a man or nothing, even though he kind of, you know, Zero has responded and said that, you know. I mean, what, I'm, what, I'm, what, I'm gonna be short and sweet. With my, <laughs> my, my thing is, you know, it, it for me, I hate to see two dudes that been connected to each other go out like that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, by go out like that, like if we was once brothers, right? You know what I'm saying? We once called each other family, right? Like I, I can't, I can't have that kind of energy towards you. You know what I'm saying? Unless you did something that's so detrimental to me to where, you know what I'm saying? I don't know the full story. I don't have all the and details. That's, see, right. see, that's and the I thing. Think so I can't I mean, really make I, I, don't, I don't know the story. You know what I'm saying? So. Before, as me being a Houstonian and representing this culture, the way I represent this culture in Houston, outside of Houston, in jail, out of jail, 
the way I rep this culture, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? To see two icons of the culture right. clash the way they clash and and, and, and what came about that. Because it wasn't no winner. It, yeah, it wasn't no winner. It just, uh, it just no H Town lost in this situation. You know what right. I'm saying? For me. So I'm, I'm going to stick with that. Like I said, I don't know cent. all the details. 50 Cent was riding around our city in a Lamborghini, that lamb chop motherfucker. Mm-hmm. With the shit on it, yeah. With security all behind him, Trey don't ride around this bitch like that. Neither do zero. So, in the midst of us bringing each other down, we don't even. Oh, so I'm really probably the only nigga around this motherfucker can do that. I mean, who really doing that? So I'm saying like, it's in these type of times we got all type of time whoop on each other. Yeah, we got all type of time we whoop on each other every day if we want to. But when we got big moments in the city. Big times in the city, cause I'm telling you, the rich nigga gonna see that shit and <laughs> shit, I'm gonna get the fuck on about it. Houston, ain't that crazy? <laughs> fuck them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's there everywhere. Ignorance it was is in every city. It was bro. definitely a stain on the town, man. Well, Ignorance is in every city. Uh, and I ain't talking about a drink stain. I think what happens stain. is, you know, niggas move around like, you know, I'm I'm a part of a couple of private clubs and I ain't never ran into a nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No so facts. You have to kind of, you know, when nigga ain't in the streets no more. Right, you know what I'm saying? So I think it becomes a situation where you start to be more and more mindful of how you move and where you move. Right. You know, you, you protect your peace. In order to protect your peace, you gotta protect the environment you allow yourself to be affiliated with. Like, you know, I I, I, I tell Jay all the time, like, I can't believe you still go to the club. But this nigga yeah. really be in the club. <laughs> like, yeah, but he moved, he, <laughs> but he, he, he the way he moved, he moved the way real street niggas move. Like, supposed to move. Like, like it's one or two ways you move. You either move understanding how you like how it's gonna go when you do. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. you plan it, or you know who you finna be around and you know what type of respect you got around the people that you finna go around. Otherwise, like it's not even worth going. And I don't believe Jager is gonna walk into no dumbass in a no. situation. He's calculated about everything yeah. he do, and I feel like with zero, that one one deep wasn't for him that night. <laughs> And I, I'm not. That's my dog. Me and that, that nigga, he probably be mad at me because that's my nigga. Oh, like Ro gonna shake my hand today. Ain't gonna shake my hand tomorrow. But she might need it to be too deep, maybe three deep. Boy, that's cold. I'm just being that my that I my think brother. Man was with his girl though. I would have been with my girl. That nigga would have never touched me, and that's on my son. <laughs> Damn, nigga, don't look at me like that. I ain't did nothing. Hey, he would have never. Hey, Travis, touched you said nigga said that nigga would have never touched me. No, nah, I'm just being honest. I'm not saying that he wouldn't. Have. He wouldn't have did that. But once again, but though, I feel like this. <laughs> I'm not mad at them for that. I don't care nothing about that. And I, I had my peace with this situation because with Trey, uh, you know, I still, I, it's hard for me to let shit go when a motherfucker do something to me that I ain't had no reason you, you had no reason to do that to me. Okay. But long story short. If we look at it from the city's point, nigga, you a humanit- you're a humanitarian. There's rules as a gangster, and there's rules as a humanitarian. It's a lot of gangsters letting Trey make it because he's a humanitarian. Mm. So which one you want to be? Because mm. I know some niggas that don't like him mm. at all. Did you get a close up of that? Mm. <laughs> That's deep. But I'm but serious. But, but like was they're it not. Him or was 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 it? No, it was, was him. It? He hit him first, and then you know, from what my understanding, he hit him first. I don't know this to be true or not. Right. Right. All, we, speculation. We, 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 all speculation. We don't know. We erased that. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck happened that night. Right. But from the looks of it, it didn't look like he was conducting himself as a humanitarian. <laughs> it was like he was conducting himself <laughs> as a street nigga. And there are certain rules as a street nigga that apply. You put your hand on a grown ass motherfucking man or you around that shit, you know what the fuck come with that. So then what? Now our black humanitarian is fucked off. <laughs> we need you. We need this nigga. Man, we need this nigga to get his fucking life wrapped and go save niggas in the water. Oh my we God. need this nigga to fucking go protest and go to jail for George Floyd, because I'm not. <laughs> and I'm not saying that in that way. Like, I got shit, other shit going on. And this nigga is my nigga. Man, Zero is my nigga. And Zero won't shake my hand sometimes. And I, I just learned to deal with it. I learned with Trey. I don't have no real discrepancy with Trey, but that situation led to another situation right. that didn't go the way that happened. And them niggas ain't treat me like that. So I just be thinking to myself, like, if you want to be a humanitarian, be a humanitarian. If you want to be a gangster, be a gangster, because the same rules apply. But on that night, on that night when we got money in the city, we got lights on the town, 
Let's bring each other up, man. Let's not beat each other down. Especially if you fucking a Ameri- humanitarian. I don't even know how to say that shit. <laughs> <laughs> he supposed to knew better than me. Oh, how to, he supposed to knew better than me how to bring a nigga up on that night. But oh. Jay Tun, I mean, we, let's get them names out of here. But I understand personal beef, because personal beef got inside emotion attached and if if that's what triggered that cool but you a marinatarian you get your ass out the way i wouldn't want to be in the camera nothing because i'm in a different path in life right like me i wanted to be petty nigga when i seen that shit i want to post the videos of me and you nigga i want to post the conversations of us what we had what you mean with me and trey because we had our own little incidents right but i said you know what my girl was like you always trying to get in other people's shit i was like shout out my girl credit by jazz but look <laughs> i say credit by jazz, i say man. you know what baby you right Cause I am, I'm living a different life. Shout out to Jazz for keeping the leash on my boy, keeping hey, him tight and right, man. Hey, cause she, she, she like, I don't want to bind you out of jail no more. But what I you was gonna post though? Yeah, nothing. <laughs> but, uh, but, but, hey man, go on with the but, bullshit, but, Drake. Go on but, with the bullshit, but, man. But, but, but get off the but, bullshit. Man. I'm in the media now, bro. Like yeah. you know, what I'm saying I'm a different guy. It, this is what it is because this is what they're doing. They're they're playing media games because in my mind it's like, why would you do that right then and right there? But I guess from my records. My understanding, they had seen each other before this, time after time, without the spotlight on the city. I just be, man, honestly, I believe in that glass roof because I've been part of that glass roof. In our city, because we don't have the fucking resources. Like, we ain't got no nigga finna give you no, no millions of dollars to rap. Nigga, fuck you. Ain't no nigga finna do it. It's very few. You got Carl Crawford. And, you know, me and him cool, but not really. But we got Carl Crawford and we got... Uh, the other nigga that I just shout seen out pop to fifteen or what? Yeah, man. nah, and I, that nigga know. I don't yeah, got I already, I already, I already know. Like he you good. Know I know the best and he was in my way. He, well, I was in his way. <laughs> he was in his way at the time, obviously, because fucking we fucking hoes and the shit ain't work out. But I don't, honest to God, I have nothing against the guy at all. Me and this man don't even cross no paths Ooh, to be against shit. each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. right. Yeah, but <laughs> out here we don't have the, we don't have the resources out here that Atlanta got. We, we got, got, got yeah, man. Yeah. Them yeah. niggas letting each other borrow each other Ferraris and Lamborghinis and shit. Like, yeah, just take it, nigga. Yeah, bring it back tomorrow. Yeah, please. He let you bring one of them watch cars. Bring my. Money. <laughs> 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 nah, I'm gonna cut that shit out. I, I ain't in that shit neither no more. But look, oh, but look. Nah, no bullshit. But we come from that shit. That's yeah, what we come about. from that shit, so we joking. We having a good time. Yeah. But back to that situation. I just feel like as a humanitarian, my nigga, it's a certain time that we got to bring each other up. If not, we're going to keep hitting this glass roof where basically niggas is getting on. We getting that 30 minute time of shine and then we pull each other down to get you, you that little 30 minute time of shine. And all they getting is a couple hundred thousand. And if you know money, nigga, that thing... Nigga, I done smoked that so many times buying dumb shit. I done spent that in cars, like, over and over. So, these you, niggas ain't ever did that once. On what you just said, right? Because <clears throat> I deal with people, a lot of guys on the daily because of what I, you know, I'm moving, I'm transitioning from my real estate and my funding because, right. you know, of what I do, you know, the credit, the, the funding, all of that shit. And one of the things that you have a huge advantage over a lot of people that's your age right now, is you didn't see you saw money at an early age, right? And I don't think a lot of you, it. You don't right. know. Maybe you do. That has opened your eyes to some different shit that you probably can never imagine how powerful it is. And what I'm saying on that is, money gives you options. Money allows you to look at things through a different lens that a lot of people not gonna look at. When you when you start flying first class, just say first class. It's hard to pass them seats up when you get on the plane. You feel up. fucked up. Your whole flight fucked up. If you get on a private jet, it's kind. Of, now you mad that you own this regular first class. Right. So it's certain shit that that money does, right? Right. And so where I'm going with that is you you have an opportunity, to, and and also money allows you to look at other motherfuckers that ain't really got it like that. Like you don't even know what you're doing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that shit ain't no money. Cause I, I I didn't I have literally. You know, let niggas borrow jewelry, right. cars, and different shit to shine. You know what I mean? So, I think I knew, but to the world, it looked great. You know what I mean? I ain't, I'm not going to tell on you, you know what I'm nah. saying? But, so, what happened with you at an early age, because you had some real money and touched some money, 
you got options. You start to look at life different. You see who really moving, who fucking, and who fucking around. Right. And a bunch of these niggas fucking. And I thought, and my my definition was in the way, but your definition is a little different. But you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> my in the way was different from the way you explained it. But I, I just want, I said that to say, man, because you saw this at an early age and you've had an opportunity to look at things. I really, I, you know, me listening to your music, I hope you really start to just say, you know what, take this shit serious. You got a cup. You got a lot of things working for you. One, you're, you're a pretty charismatic guy. Right. Two, you real. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, because one thing about me, Dre, know that I'd have saw some shit. I'd have said, "Ah, oh, man, your boy Bullshit, You know that I <laughs> called it out. That nigga ain't cutting like that. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> that was a big fact. Dre, you know, you know, that's a big fact. Man, nigga, I, I'm looking at some shit. This nigga here, like the nigga hoe him, but this that, and the other man, nigga ain't cutting like that, Dre. Because he Ooh. never did his homework. <laughs> so you know, I had to. Cause I had to do my homework cause I ain't know. So, but when I'm looking, I'm like, you got something that's rare, man. And that's leadership skills. Uh, leadership can be cultivated and some niggas naturally got it. Niggas gonna naturally follow you. Nah, it's just a matter of you putting out a plan for them to follow you, homie. Nah, that's real. Cause look, it's crazy. Cause Slim done talked to me about shit like that. This nigga and even the old man that came to me and said like, you can lead your niggas into the, you know what I'm saying? The ground if you want. Or if not, you gotta understand, man, these niggas following you. So you running around here high, drunk, on pills, doing all that type of shit. What you think your crew gonna do? It's a video on YouTube, man. I hope I don't I don't know the name of it, but if y'all I'm I watch a lot of nature shit, right? And it's a fucking gazelle at the bank. And all the gazelles waiting on this one fucking gazelle. When this motherfucker jump in the water with all the crocodiles, the motherfucker knocked off twenty his goddamn partners. Cause he was a bad motherfucking leader. Nah, you right. So you gotta be mindful. To he much was at the bank, at the, the, the water bank. Yeah, at the yeah. water bank. Yeah, I'm sitting. <laughs> hey, this nigga hiding in the motherfucker. <laughs> this nigga at Wells Fargo jumped into the money or what? Oh, yeah. What else? So you thought the gazelle was at fucking Wells Fargo? Yeah, yeah, nigga, the gazelle was at Wells. I gotta put the cup the down. The gazelle was hey. at hey. Wells. Fargo. I was stuck for a second. I'm like, you say the gazelle was the bank? Like, okay, what now? That just this? Where you going with this motherfucker? The bank of the yeah. goddamn water, nigga. Yeah. Okay. One of the African shows. I you know, got you. I know you know what? I was like, Net Geo, nigga. Yeah, nigga, Net Geo. So Travis got the time on us, man. So what's next right. for Boston, George? You got your project coming out? Yes, sir. No, so now, I don't know if you know, did you make it to Dre movie from him, man? Nah, this I ain't making it. He's a nah, fucking movie star, man. It. And I'm really proud of my dog. Oh my man, God. me too, And man. the reason why I'm going to say that, you got to understand, like, Dre one of them type of niggas that, like, he affect a lot of people, but a lot of people won't know it. You know what I'm saying? Because right. he ain't no nigga that's, on Instagram, you know, doing no bunch of wild shit, but he always moved a certain what type of way. And y'all been smoothed in the motherfucker at how he do it, player in the motherfucker how he do it. So, like I said, you know, coming from the Guard City, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> God then this city. nigga was, he don't move far. This nigga moved five minutes from Guard City, <laughs> right behind this motherfucker. <laughs> what a drink. Riding around in the BMW with the rims and shit. I'm like, this nigga right around the corner from this motherfucker for real. He, he thought the niggas wasn't gonna touch you, Dre. Nah, it wasn't he. Nah, he wasn't gonna touch Dre. Dre a player. <laughs> Look, man, this nigga bringing me to the bricks. I'm going to the bricks to talk to this nigga. Like this shit's some old my other crazy shit. But we don't talk about that. Yeah. But look, to say that, and you gotta remember, like as niggas, you don't see too many niggas that can elevate their mind to go far enough to say, I'm gonna go shoot a fucking movie. You know how much, or I'm gonna be in the movie. I'm gonna be an actor. I'm gonna be anything other than this street nigga, this this dumbass nigga that really ain't going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Nigga on the treadmill. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get a little money, go to jail, get back out, hustle again, get a little money, go back to jail. Yeah. He mentoring too. You know, he right. mentoring to you on Facts. some real shit. You Facts. know what I mean? And and I I was I don't, I don't want to say it like that. I'm trying to be more politically correct, but I, I I was at an event, man, and I realized something that a lot of times. You know, these educated people can't get through to these kids the way me or you can or nah, you can, right? Sure. Because we really them, you know what I'm saying? When I see them, I see me. So if I see me, you know what I mean? I, I can really talk to me, right? Right. And me can see, you know, that motherfucker can see me. And I think that's where you benefit a lot because a motherfucker know you really from the bridge. No question. They, they, did, they did two movie premieres. One was at the, uh, at, the, at the theater, red carpet event, all dressed up. And the other one they bought... The whole, you know, the whole nah, big ass screen I, to I, the I, bricks, and yeah. you know they they did it over there. So you get kids from that neighborhood getting to see 
they shit really on TV for real. And they see my motherfucking nigga over here dressed word, up word, in a motherfucking word. suit, being a motherfucking <laughs> star like he is. And you know what? That's what's I'm so up. thankful for you, my nigga, because he bought Shannon on. And shit, when Shannon first told me that shit, I'm like, I, I think Shannon thought, he, he he thought I was bullshit. He said people tell him shit all the time. <laughs> I got two movies that's complete, and we're going to shoot 20 of them bitches for 23. I'm the, I don't know what's wrong with these niggas. Y'all niggas into the art of this shit. I'm into the money of it. But y'all keep doing the art, man. I ain't mad at you. Keep yes, making sir. your shit pretty as it come, nigga. We're going to keep putting this street shit out. Then when we get some money, I'm going to be like Jay-Z. I can't help the poor if I'm one of them. I got to get rich and give back. That's hey, the win-win. Hey. Yes, sir. That's the yes, sir. Hey, because you got to think, man. You got to think a lot of these kids ain't seeing actors. They probably never seen an actor only on the TV. Facts. Yeah. And, and I was sitting right now as poised for it. Because everybody, well, like, you know, Atlanta. We got, got so much Perry, culture, got man. We got so, yeah. so much culture. But we kill each other and take each other, take, we beat each other down and let, and dick ride the out of town niggas and let them take it off with them. And then when they come in town, we're going to protect them so you don't go let the nigga know, hey, if you're going to rap this shit and rap this shit, you need to go to the studio and do a song with us first. Oh, no, no, hey, nigga, don't, don't come stay city. around them nigga. Hey, bro. That's yeah, we shit. the most welcomeing city in the I'm glad I'm not a rapper, country. though. You gotta think, me and Jesus, that's my boy, but we did tapes. When he come down here, I go stand next to him, we kick it. So we did music together. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But me and your guy do music together. You know, yeah. rock, we did music together. A lot of these niggas out here protecting niggas, standing like a motherfucking butler, thinking they doing security. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ain't getting no music, no nothing. Just stood on the stage with the nigga. I can't stand these niggas. Man, this nigga is terrible, man. <laughs> Pow! That's why I just go fire. home, man. I be wanting to go out. It's so many nights I had to get up, put my shit on. I want to. That's why my music too. Like, like I, when I see the shit that's going on, I used to be motivated watching these niggas riding around this motherfucker. You see the Rolex, nigga. You see this shit. Da, da, da. Like, nigga, these niggas want to kill each other. I don't want to have the killing content. Me either. I want to live. I got some shit to live for around this motherfucker. Got some shit to do. Yeah, we got some shit to do. Hey, I'm drunk, man. This fucking cup got me fucked. Hey, I'm Drake got a hell of a That nigga's fucking... drinking straight drop, though. I, yeah, I mean, yeah, you fucking around, no Drake. You normally know don't drink like that, but you nah, fucking around. My boy came to the show. You are the most infant, hey, alcoholic, hey. weed smoking nigga I know. Hey. This nigga know I'm gonna come up here and say some fucked this up shit. Boy, no man. way, shape, form, fashion. <laughs> hey, man. One, one thing about life, bro, like when I met this dude, man, he was a super young dude. I just wanted him to know everything that I knew. Right. And that's how I treat him. I gave him everything I had. Never could it. Never everything could it. One thing I can say from day one, he ain't bring me to no spot. He brought me to the house. You know what I'm saying? He ain't bring me around the corner. He bring me right here. You know what I'm saying? And from day one, he, he always put on me like, like, like if, if I'm doing some fucked up shit, you know, my niggas younger than me or we all first getting money, nigga. We, I ain't did nothing wrong to them. Yeah. Hey, bro, you tripping, bro. Stop that shit. I'm telling you, that shit gonna get you fucked up. Cut it out. And I can't say, even Slim, I'll never forget, man. I'm mad. I'm Cutting up around this bitch, I'm really getting too much money, too high. That nigga say, "Kid, you a crackhead." <laughs> I say, "I say, damn, I'm a what, nigga? You a motherfucking crackhead?" I say, "God damn, Slim, I'm a what?" He said, "Yeah, kid, you got to leave that shit alone. You out here getting fucked up every night, nigga. Fuck all that shit, nigga. Get you some money, have fun." I'm thinking, "Damn, that nigga right." You know what I'm saying? You like, call you a crackhead? man, yeah, because I was wildin' because I'm Works, calling him. I'm calling him like, man, I'm about to do this. I'm about to, man, fuck this nigga and fuck that nigga. He like, kid, you tripping? What the fuck? What, I, what, I, I what think, is you mad at? I think that's the beauty of our relationship, though. We was always able to communicate with the homies on the level where it's like right. some solid. Shit. I can hear I from them. Wrong. Like, like, think about it with, with Dre. Dre called me even when we, he in jail. He'll call yeah. me. We talk, and we he, they can say shit like, "Nigga, you a crackhead." We know I ain't no crackhead, but they right. saying basically like, "You wildin', bro. You out here drunk, high, having fun. Nigga, right. calm down. Take a second. Nigga, sober up for a second. Remember, you got a bunch of niggas following you. You got a lot of people watching you. If you don't move smooth, nigga, you know, for for one, you gotta look at yourself in the mirror every day and be proud. So you don't yep. wanna get too fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. And for two, nigga, you gotta understand that you gotta leave a legacy. You know what I'm saying? Out there, you and you got niggas following you. Can't lead the nigga to the promised land. Fucked up. Can't see clear your damn self. Facts. Real clear shit. diamonds. Cloud. Team only good as your leader though. Hmm? Like you only good as your leader. Yeah, absolutely. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Can't you know be what I'm saying? with all them clean diamonds in a cloudy mind, man. You got to be clean all the way around. Work. Straight the fuck Boy, up. What I grew up, man. I'm proud of you, brother. I'm it's proud all right, of you, brother. That's what's it's up. All man. right. So hey. we got the new project coming out in October. Yes, sir. You know That's what I just sure. heard on here, man? Because we finna really 
I'm bringing Dre with me, man. I, I love this nigga, man. Like, yeah. so I got, I, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got, you know what I'm saying? Like, I appreciate I told him, that, man. I said, you know, I, know. I, I got one of these movies. I'm, 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 I'm just doing with him. I'm putting it up, but we are gonna bust it down. I'm putting the money up, but we busting it down. Right. Just because he, boy. you know what I'm saying? He, you know, just for him bringing me to Shannon. Not even unbeknownst to him that I was finna take this move. You right, know what I'm saying? right. But I say shit, I gotta pay homage back to yeah. my partner for doing that. But yeah, uh, Dre a solid nigga, man. Oh, ain't no nigga gonna go around Dre. They like if he call you, you ain't gonna think there's no flaw in it. Like you know what I'm saying? If he call you, like even with me, nigga, I, I don't be trying to be on time. For nobody, I actually well, you, tried to be on time today. <laughs> no, and, well, you and my girl, sure didn't make I know. I, I mean, but look, <laughs> I, I'm just being honest because you gotta remember, I gotta pick my kids up from school, <laughs> drop the motherfuckers off. I got. 15 dogs at the house got to be fed. I got a girl that stay on my motherfucking mind. I mean, stay on my motherfucking nerves. Goddamn need something all day. And plus, you know what I'm saying? We got a business that we orchestrating. I got an 18-wheeler company. I got a driving education school. We got the credit company. You know what I'm saying? Plug some of your shit, man. Let me plug Uh, mine right now. uh, Hey, man, if y'all need, I need, I need everybody. If you guys are in the streets in any kind of way, man, and you trying to just make, get out them streets and make you some money, I recommend y'all do this truck driving school. We got it over here. Um, greedy, greedy hauling, uh, truck driving school, man. Y'all make sure y'all give us a holler, man. Y'all can look us up online. Better promote. Um, but if we over at uh, right here off the east, off the east freeway, off Federal Road. Go get in that truck, man. It's the, it's the simplest business you can do to be your own boss. Still make you twelve, one hundred and fifty, two hundred grand a year, and you ain't got to answer to a motherfucker. It's all you, baby. We can get you to that school, man. Four to six weeks, you're done. You're driving. Let's go. Go ahead, yes, knock sir. some, plug some of your shit, man. You gotta pull out your phone. Yeah. <laughs> well, if y'all I don't know my numbers for, for all my your, goddamn for, things. For, for, oh, no, oh, oh, I ain't know what he was saying. I'm supposed to post that shit, I ain't know what he was saying. Hey, man. Hey, Go man. ahead. Check this out, man. Everybody follow your boy, Boston George AMG, for one. You know what I'm saying? Go download my newest shit, Baking Soda Boston 2. You know what I'm saying? If you need motherfucking driving education, go to Tom Ball Elite Driving School. You need your credit repair dunk. Holler at my girl, Credit by Jazz. Hey man, we already know Tag Convoy trucking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Word. we already full over there. Well, well you know y'all, while well, y'all trucking and driving, man, go fuck with Life's a Beat CPR. Yes, Where sir. I do mobile CPR classes. Yes, sir. And Heroes Tax Solution, man, is our most taxing for your tax needs. Taxes tap in with us, man. Yes, okay. sir. It's up. Travis, you got some shit you want to plug? Yeah. Elite, elite. <laughs> yeah. We plug. I got the beat. <laughs> boy, say you got Travis got over, them man. beats. Hey, hey man. man, so you niggas can stop buying them loot hey, packages hey, tra- tra- and all that other boss. shit. Trav tra- really I come, man. Trav been yeah. involved a lot of motherfucking Real legendary shit. projects. And man. what people don't understand about him, he always in the cut, but he gonna make sure you know him when you like. Just think about it, like you know, he ain't gonna say much, but you gonna remember him. You gonna know him. You remember yeah. the nigga wrecked your van? Yeah. Well, <laughs> well but I'm saying it's a <laughs> lot of people know this dude, van. and it's crazy. Yeah. But everybody, everybody know this nigga, man. Like I'm blown yeah, away. Like goddamn. Like I thought I knew some I motherfuckers. Seen him Dre too knows many some times. Have I don't think we bought a guest in this motherfucker that he didn't know. It's facts. Have we bought anybody in this I motherfucker? Got you that don't know? You'll see him in the hardest spot. You just walk somewhere that you don't even think that this nigga belong. He's just sitting there at the, the computer. Like, <laughs> that nigga there. He there. That's, hey man. Hey, Trav man. got us on the timer, man. So it's uh, been a great night, and we appreciate you coming oh, in. Thank you, bro. I, I, I don't even. This is my first time meeting you, but just from me watching interviews and talking to Drake, I see your growth, man. So keep continuing oh, yeah. to grow. Appreciate and uh, remember what I told you about that shit, man. You you can pick the pen up and still reflecting on your growth more than that's your what actual I took from activity. This. Rather, rather so, y'all know that's what I took from this. You know what I'm saying? That was a piece that I'm gonna take from this right here, and I'm. That's going to sit on me because that was real. Yeah. No question. That was real, so, for sure. Thank man, you for coming out, my nigga. appreciate you coming, man. Thank you. You always welcome back home. Man. Anytime. Yeah, anytime. Make sure bring you Bring your uh, girl next time, man. We and, talk about and, the test. And, and I got this I mean, for you, uh, too, man. The credit company. Okay, yeah, bring her. More, and this more is the credit work. guru, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, he yeah. might be retired from that, but you know. Nah, nah, right. because it's, he just, you know, he, he popped his shit right Yeah, now. he going to pop his shit. Nah, he ain't him. Yeah, you know. I do the credit repair, but I also do the funding and shit. You well, know, what I, I do it for me nah, more nah, than nah, anything nah, at this point. It. The motherfuckers who I fuck with, like I see a lot of these YouTube dudes, they full of shit. I listen right. to these niggas, y'all selling bullshit, and y'all ain't telling the motherfuckers the real. I do this shit. I promise you. Any of y'all that think y'all real, I can go in the lab, which is right here, and I promise you, if we if we just gonna raise a million dollars from scratch, I beat all y'all. 
Talk and that's that real shit. shit. Man, I believe that's it. real as it talk gets. Shit. Because he I gonna, promise you, I can. He gonna, he gonna, he gonna, he gonna talk it up. You know, he got, he got it. Yeah, I, he I, he, got, he with got, me, man. he got. You know what I'm saying, I just sit and watch. Hey man, you know the niggas I fuck. Any nigga I fuck with outside of my niggas, you know what I'm saying. I always been a one. He a nigga. We just when you meet a motherfucker, you just know. And I met him, and we just knew. Y'all down the down the way together. We just knew. Yeah. We just I, had, I had tried to help, you know, work with my boy because he was kind of wild. He, you know, he, that's a, hey, <laughs> hey, this nigga, man, hey, man, we were thugging every night. I hey, promise. Listen, this nigga here, I'm, we're gonna close, man, because Trav didn't cut the clock hey, off. On some him. But uh, I'm, 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 we're at the camp now, right? So I'm creeping off one day, you know, doing what I do, you know, go, <laughs> go catch me a room, and you know, I can say all this shit, and I got caught coming back to that motherfucker. Me and baby going to the Damn, room. y'all can leave them up. Oh, hey, you know, you don't supposed to. to yeah, you know I, what I'm saying? I, I know what's hey, going Hey, man, on. you know, I, I had to go with my move. I already knew. What that, What y'all going to do? Put me in jail, which is the hoe? Man, fuck that hoe. <laughs> I'm in jail. Hey, baby, send me some books. I'm going to send this motherfucker and do that. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. So I'm going, I can fuck. I yeah. can leave. I'm finna do that. So this nigga here been watching me. <laughs> this nigga playing This nigga on the basketball court. I'm trying to see and how I'm the leaving. How to I'm make, like, how to make I'm it safe. I say, damn, this nigga see me. All these niggas playing basketball. Why this nigga? I said, that nigga saw me. Nicole, I saw you, man. What you got going on? Yeah. <laughs> hey, because he trying to work his move. Trust me. My but boy see, he had already been to the camp before. I'm just pulling up. Yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to figure it out. You got to. Hey, man. And I'm going to tell y'all how player my partner was over here. It's the only nigga probably in the history of, of, of the prison system. It's probably some more niggas. I don't know y'all. This nigga had a bottle of Ace of Spades this big for his goddamn birthday. <laughs> Papa those up in that bitch. Hey, Drake was fucking around. Boss and George, we appreciate you yes, coming, sir. man. That, that right. nigga's in the way even in that motherfucker. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. I had to make the best hey, of a bullshit time. My father was time, fucking man. around yeah. over there, yeah. man. So thank y'all for tuning in, man, to the Cole and Dre show. We appreciate it, man. Thank you for coming out, Boss and George. I'm Cole. And this is Dre, and we out. Peace. Yes, Peace. <laughs> yeah. Man. Yeah, Dre was fucking around. Yeah, Dre always gonna be fucking hey, Dre around. I couldn't believe you stole off on the... What's the big thing?